Hello again. Now let's turn to a medical monopoly case that has recently been making plenty of headlines. The National Development Reform Commission has fined two medical companies in eastern China's Shandong province nearly 7 million yuan. And the firms accused of controlling raw materials of compound recipient, an antihypertensive drug, and increasing its bid prices. Now, Fintan Monokhan takes a closer look at the case. 7 million yuan. It's the first heavily fined anti-monopoly case. Compound reserpine is an antihypertensive drug. More than 10 million hypertensive patients rely on this medicine, with an annual consumption of 9 billion tablets. Most of the consumers are from middle and low-income groups. In June 2011, the two accused Shandong medicine companies signed a sales agreement with two medicine producing companies in northern Liaoning province, monopolizing the sale of the drug. The main aim of the agreement is to get control of raw materials as well as sales channel of the antihypertensive drug. It also prevented the medicine producing companies from selling the drug to other companies. After the agreement was signed, the two Shandong medical companies then increased the raw material drug price by 14 times, forcing other medical companies to halt their operations. Four factories in eastern China's Jiangsu province have been out of production for nearly a month, as their production costs have been raised by 90 million yuan. All the workers are on holiday now. They are very worried and keep asking when production will resume. But so far, no one can give them a clear answer. However, no answer for these workers doesn't mean no action in the monopoly case. So far, the antihypertensive drugs at the two medicine companies in Shandong have been sealed by the NDRC. What they did has done great harm to our country's price bid system and also to the low-income groups who rely heavily on this medicine. We can't tolerate such action. Many say what faces the two companies is not only a fine, but also a ruined reputation that may never recover. Fintan Monaghan, CCTV.